Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and welcome to Russian Fishing Thursday. Well, actually, this will probably come out on Friday, but I'm doing this on Thursday, so <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I was, uh, I kind of got a late start on this, but it will get out, and you should see it sometime on Friday. But we are here again at Belaya Bay, and I think the today's main goal is to go up to Browns and hopefully 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 we can finally get a taman now apparently a taman is often referred to as a giant trout and upon checking its background it's related to the brown trout but these suckers can get up to 85 pounds so we're talking the big predator of this lake I'm not sure they come a whole lot bigger around here, that's for sure. But uh, I think here, I believe the record is more, more closely to maybe 20. But I don't know. I'll have to check things. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get things set up with our feeder rods. And see if we can't get this set up so that we can possibly land one of these big guys. Now, I've got myself on this rod. Let me go ahead and show you here, guys. That's not what I wanted to show you. This is what I want to show you. Yeah, I've got my Express Fishing Adriatica 22 pound test line. I've got a size S2 hook, 25 pound leader with a night crawler. Now, this is pretty heavy duty. I should be able to pull just about anything in that I run across. Hopefully a taming. We will see. But apparently they really, really go for these night crawlers. I don't think I got that out far enough, guys. Yep, I'm pretty sure of it. Let me do a full cast, and I'm going to put it, whoa, had a little bit of lag there, slightly upstream, that might be good right there, alright, let's go ahead and put her down, put some tension on it, and we're going to slide down. Now on this one, I've got a Mayfly. I've also got a S6 hook. And 17 pound leader. Both of these are fluorocarbon leaders, by the way. And in both of them, I'm using the West Hill Pyramid Sinker number 4. This is 70 grams. This pyramid is important for this water. I think I said it in the last episode. Keeps from, basically that shape keeps it from being moved by the current and then I've got snake ultra line 16.5 pound clear I got plenty of it so if anything big gets on it we shouldn't lose that fish so let's throw that one out there as well all right let her sink to the bottom I'm gonna reel it in just a little bit and then we'll put it down. All right, we got her all set up here. Now I think what we need to do is I think we need to maybe drink a little something because our we don't seem to be doing all that well comfort-wise. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat a crackle sausage. may not be able to get a drink here, but I think I'm going to see if I can't take some of this moonshine. There we go. That should help. I think it's mainly because it's raining, but that's good. The rain is actually a good thing, guys, because the taman normally about the only time of my understanding for, to get them is you have to either be in a very early morning just at, at uh, dawn or at dusk 
or on cloudy or rainy days, pretty much any time. So that is a good thing. That hopefully will increase our chances of getting those and maybe the browns. The other thing I wanted you to see, guys, is I have on this one, I've got my hunter, my blue hunter, which this is an excellent, excellent lure for catching not only the browns, but also the taman. Ooh, looks like I'm getting a fight here. Okay, he is serious. They really do go for these mayflies. But just about everything goes for the mayflies, so that doesn't mean I've got a brown trout or anything. It could be a perch. It could be just about anything. Yep, it's a little bitty perch. That's alright, we'll throw that back out. He just wanted to be on camera, that's all. But the thing I wanted to show you guys... Now I have this Hunter 0 0.001 is bigger. I had to go back to another lake to purchase it because I didn't have any here. This one is 45 grams. Now I wanted to try this one to see if that might attract the taming because they weren't really going after the 26s but we're going to try this one this time see if that gives us any luck now I'm going to go slightly downstream to start off with and kind of work my way up and see if I can't get lucky on that we're going to go ahead and use a, a jig step which I've showed you quite a few times but if you haven't seen it I'll show you again not a big deal but let's go ahead and throw that sucker out there as far as we can we should get some distance with that heavier lure see I'm gonna let it drop now I should already have my retrieval speed at 20 and I do so what we need to start doing is we just need to do one reel at a time just like that Well, as close as you can, anyway. And each time, pause. That should get you the jig step. Whoops, overshot there. Takes a little practice. I have not used this lure until just now, but we're going to see if they are interested in it. There we go, now we're getting our jig step. I think it may have been so deep there that I needed to have more of a pause. There we go. Ah, uh, heck fire. That darn rock. And I'm going to come down here a little bit because I keep getting caught up on that rock. It goes right in, in behind there and there must be a deep spot over there or something. Alright, we'll try this again. Looks like there's a competition going on. Yeah, I'm going to put longer pauses because that water, that's six and a half or meters deep there. That's deep. Oh, 
but I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this. If anything happens, I'll bring you back or if I happen to change back to my smaller lure. Because it is getting to be evening. Things should start happening too. Well, it really didn't take long. There's something on the mayfly pole over here. And, ooh. Nice, nice. This is big. Yeah, this is a, this is a decent sized fish. And if we can just keep the little bugger from getting off the line, that's the trick. Okay, let's put a little more tension. A little more. Let's make it a little more difficult for him. We can go a little red, but not too much. Okay, we have... We have us a fish here, guys. Or so we got something. Might be a catfish. No, no, he's pull. He's fighting too much. He's fighting just a little too much to be a catfish. But he is a yeah, catfish. What they'll do is they'll they'll settle like a log. Okay, we're gonna take advantage of him. Okay, he's realized that I'm reeling in on him. Come on, you bugger. I'm gonna reel in on you again there. How you like them apples? Don't like them, do you? Yeah, I do not want to lose this fish. This one's... Come on. Okay, he's letting up here. God, I love this, guys. <laughs> this It just doesn't get any better than this. It just doesn't get any better than this. I never understood how a person couldn't find this fun as hell. I just don't. When you sit there and fight a fish like this, my kids will often sit there and go, "Oh, it's boring. I don't want to. I don't want to fish. It's boring." <laughs> as they're Pecking away at their cell phones. <laughs> Boy, he is really fighting me. I might go up one more notch, but I can't go any further than that because I don't want to ruin my mess up my gear but my stamina is now way down so that's going to make it harder for the, this to shoot I am uncomfortable and my stamina is down which really sucks because that makes it that much harder But each time he starts to let... Oh, 
boy, he is just one big fella, I'll tell you that. I think what I'm gonna do while he's doing that, I'm gonna grab myself some mulled wine, a sugar duck, oh, I'm full. We're going to start reeling in here a little bit and hopefully our comfort and stamina goes up a little bit. Well, he just got so settled there. Okay, my comfort's going up and my stamina's still in the toilet. Well, I'm going to let my hunger go down a little bit and then grab some coffee. That should help a lot. Okay, he may be finally tiring. Well, he took a lot of line out. I bet he took out a hundred meters, at least. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I added the extra line. Okay, he should be moving in now. I don't see him, but... Should be seeing him. There he is. What have we got, guys? Catfish? I don't know. I can't tell yet. Yes! Yes! Yes, there he is, guys. There he is. 3.079 kilograms. Wow. There he is. There's the king of this river. The mighty Taman. I got him, guys. Mayfly. Good old Mayfly. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We are going to definitely get a snapshot of him, guys. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. See, I'll get another pose here. Heck yeah, we're going to keep him. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Huh, he didn't even register on there. Apparently he's not very big. <laughs> wow, that was a fight though. That was a fight. All right, we got our first taming, guys. That's them. That's what they look like. All right, let's put this down. It's getting a little late. Ew, I'm getting low on everything. <laughs> Let's try a little bit of moonshine. That should help my comfort. My comfort's in the toilet. 
All right. Well, it is nighttime. Things tend to quiet down lure fishing at night, but we'll. Oh, I thought I had the rod over here. There we go. I'll still try it. And I'm pretty sure that it's not going to do much. Alright guys, I am headed back to where I was fishing. They weren't biting much on the float fishing. I just managed to catch a few small gibbles, but nothing to speak of. But at least I kept myself busy. Things have seemed to be pretty quiet over here, but it's starting to approach morning here. That's when things tend to, to pick up a little bit. I think what we'll do, we're going to go on this side of this rock this time. And we're going to start doing some lure fishing here. kind of want to try the 26 one first just because I feel more comfortable with that one and I'm not going to get the distance but at least I know that this will cast out far enough All right, we're going to let that sink before I close the bale that way we get as much length as we can all right now we're going to start to bring it in yep bigger pauses that's that's the key as we are getting the jig step Alright, looks like we finally got something. It's been kind of slow. Looks like we got us a decent sized perch. But yeah, I switched over to this lure. It seems like it's been picking up a little bit more. That was the first one that was pretty hefty that I managed to get on there, but I just keep getting perch. But perch is better than nothing, I tell you. Yeah, the blue hunter isn't doing much right at the moment. Not sure what the deal is. But Husbuzz always says this does well on rainy days, so I figured I'd give it a try. And sure enough, the old Huzz is correct. Does do better. Alright, looks like the feeder rod again. It's got something interested. And it sounds like the cowbell one. Uh, it's not... Let's make sure here, guys. It could be just a crawl dead. <laughs> yeah, it's not very big, I don't think. Yeah, I bet you we got us a crawl dead. Daggone it. Bet you we got us a crawl dead. No? It's a little dace. Yeah, I like these little fish. They're kind of odd looking. Kinda almost sad. <laughs> sad little fish. Alright, let's throw that sucker out there. Tap on that, maybe I can get whatever is out there interested. Alright, we're gonna come back to this and do our thing. Ooh, my friction brakes. Oh, okay, I was thinking that 
16 was my retrieval speed. Okay, never mind. All right, we're going to keep at it. I might mess around with some of the lures and see if I can't find one that these guys want in this kind of weather. I'll bring you back. All right, sounds like we got another one on the feeder rod. Looks like they're finally starting to pick up a little bit. This guy's a little more serious. Okay, he's not a monster, but he's definitely bigger than the last one. Here it comes. Oh, very nice. Another brown trout. Very nice. I love these guys. Love these guys. So pretty. He's got some nice teeth. Smile for the camera. I wish you could zoom in on him. All right. Let's toss her back out there again. Maybe they're biting now. Yeah, they're definitely the XP hogs right here. Unless you can get a monster taming. I doubt my gear will handle it. They're pretty darn big. Alright, looks like I got a little something here. Not sure what it is. Ah, little pike. Isn't he cute? Little bitty pike. <laughs> Well, the sun has come out, the rain has stopped, and already the fishing has started to improve. Alright guys, I am sorry I had to step away for just a minute, but we are going to probably end up having to end this episode. But before we do, I do want to try just at least a couple more tries with this particular lure. This is that perch color lure that I talked about, and since it's the sun is out, it's early morning... It is definitely worth a try. And if not, we'll go ahead and end this. So, because I'm not sure how much time we've gotten into here, but I'm sure we're getting pretty close. Need to let it really drop down there. Give me my jig step, you darn thing. There we go. There we go. Okay, this isn't a bad size fish. It's not a monster. But he's not bad. This would be a good way to end this. I think we got a good size perch here. Woo! Dag! I'd say he's over a kilogram. That's a fat little guy, isn't he? Nice, 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 nice. Brings in a thousand forty XP. I'm happy with that. Alright. On that note, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I hope to maybe be able to get one more Russian Fishing 4 episode out. I do have some other things that I want to put out. But I am having my surgery on Monday. And it may be a couple of days before I can get to it. So anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will return. Until then guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye.